Waking up with his parents on the religious commune in Virginia where the Arquettes lived until David was three. That's his brother Alexis, brother Richmond, and his older sisters, Rosanna and Patricia. When we were kids, instead of like hide and go seek, we'd play exits and entrances where you'd have to enter the room and get everyone's attention. And if you didn't, you'd have to go off the stage. This isn't the family? Yeah. Well, that's tough. Yeah, and yeah. trust me, it, it bled over into, <laughs> oh, yeah. into the real world. David's brothers and sisters all grew up to be actors. Rosanna starred with Madonna in Desperately Seeking Susan. Patricia Arquette has had a successful acting career with starring roles in critically acclaimed movies like True Romance. I'm gonna go jump in the tub and get all wet and slippery and soapy in this. David's brother, Alexis, is a female impersonator in real life and in the movies. Then love will steal the stuff. Well, you know, I did have a, I had a hankering to be an actor. David's father, Louis Arquette, made a 20-year career out of playing quirky parts in movies and commercials. The Lord sure did say a lot of hibbity jibbity bibbity swibbity. In this whole acting family, did you just say to yourself, I'm going to be an actor? Or did you think, oh, I just, you know, it's too much for me? I've struggled with it. Growing up with my father, seeing him sort of like go through this business and work from a voiceover job to a commercial, going through the, the dry spells as an actor, it makes me nervous. I'm just nervous. And no matter, you know, no matter how much money Courtney's making or whatever, I just, you know, I'm just... It doesn't matter if I say it's... David, it doesn't matter. We can afford to, yeah. you know, we're not going to starve here. So don't worry. If, if the right role hasn't come up, don't work just to work. I got me some heaven. One day and one night and doing it right. He did this movie called John's. I think he's got such a deeper side. He's got so much compassion that people don't know. Eating burgers, watching cable TV. I'm gonna be somebody for a day. Although David is in four movies that will be released in the next year, he is still waiting for that elusive breakthrough role. In the meantime, his wife has made millions in her career. Is it difficult when Courtney has become so famous, made a lot of money, is that tough for a young actor who's still trying to get the big film? Um. It's tough when people are sort of sca like putting you in a corner and saying, you know, no, oh, I won't even see you on this part. But yeah, I mean, I would love to have a job to go to. Courtney grew up in a very different world, not an actor in the family. Her father was a successful swimming pool contractor in Birmingham, Alabama. She was a cheerleader and played tennis. When Courtney was 10, her parents divorced. Both remarried, and Courtney suddenly had a large extended family. My father married a woman with four kids, and my mom married a man with five. I have a lot of stepbrothers and sisters. There's 13, I guess, including myself. You came to New York to be a model. Didn't want to be an actress, wanted to be a model, yeah? I, I would have taken anything, any opportunity at the time. I, I had a, a step cousin who said, you've got to get out of Alabama and, and try something. And I did, and, and he had a connection at a modeling agency, and so they saw me, and I got a job. Courtney began her modeling career at 18 in New York City. She appeared in dozens of magazines and commercials, but her big break came in an unexpected way. Hey, Courtney remembers feeling awkward dancing on stage with Bruce Springsteen in this music video. But the attention led to a two-year run of the sitcom Family Ties with Michael J. Fox. She played his girlfriend. Despite your father's condition, you seem to be more preoccupied with your own imaginary and highly neurotic worries. <laughs> you really want to know why I do what I do? No, I'm not sure I really want to know anymore. And she was Jim Carrey's girlfriend in the hit movie Ace Ventura, Pet Detective. Same year, 1994, Courtney was about to become world famous for hanging out with her friends. This is everybody. This is Chandler and Phoebe and, and Joey. And you remember my brother Ross? Sure. Hey. <laughs> Why is Friends the successor? I think that we have an amazing group of writers, and there's a cast that that really sticks together and. Um, 
I think that just the fact that we still all like each other. And you really do all like each other on Friends? Yeah, and it, the girls, we love each other, but the girls are like, it's crazy how much we love each other. I mean, we really see each other all the time. I mean, we lunch together at work every day. And the Friends stuck together when it came to contract negotiations, insisting on equal pay for everyone in the cast. For this, the final season of the show, they will earn the highest salaries ever paid to a television ensemble. A million dollars each per episode. Did you all come together and say all for one or, or not at all? Yes, we did. It's great that we stuck together because that way no one gets their feelings hurt, no one's making more than the other. We're a team and that's what we are. Monica, Monica, look where I'm going. Excuse me, Courtney? <laughs> Is this absolutely the last year for friends? Yes. Sure? I'm positive. Mm -hmm. What are you going to do when it's over? Cry like little babies. Cry. <laughs> I bet a lot of other people will be crying too. When we come back, Courtney and David's biggest disappointment. When 2020 returns, they have everything but a baby, just like Monica and Chandler. There's been a lot of episodes that have hit home as, 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 in regards to having children. Because it's, it's something that we really, really want, and we are trying really hard. Would you consider in vitro? Next.